The Cherokee Nation has begun the task of recovering the original site of Principal Chief John Ross's home in Park Hill. Cherokee Nation recently purchased the land and it is possible it could become a historic site. Trying to delineate what's historical, what's not historical, and hopefully find the footprint and be able to interpret the original site where uh, our old chief lived and, and uh, through the project we found out there's even more here than, than we thought and so rewarding after all these years of wondering what was up there on that hill. Now we own the land, it's back where it should be with the tribe and hopefully we'll be free to explore it and, uh, and interpret what's here and share it with everybody. Coming there believes there were lots of historic sites in Park Hill that were forgotten about after the Civil War. A cemetery has also been located down the hill from the cottage and is believed to be part of a Freedman Cemetery. It may be one of the oldest in Cherokee County. People from the Institute of Native American Studies at the University of Georgia are helping to map out the footprint of the cemetery and the John Ross home by using ground-penetrating radar and gradiometers to see what is beneath the ground while not disturbing anything. John Ross, principal chief of the Cherokees from 1828 to 1866, presided over a period of constant change and difficulty. The Ross family became the most prominent citizens of Park Hill and of the entire Cherokee Nation. Chief Ross began construction on his Park Hill home, named Rose Cottage, after purchasing the land in 1839. The large house sat on a hill shaded by oaks and elms and had columns reminiscent of a Georgia mansion. The driveway was lined with several species of roses, which gave the home its name. The house faced north, so that it faces that what's now that farmhouse up there. Here's a brick that shows fire damage. You know, Rose Cottage was burned during the Civil War, and when brick is burned, it gets a glaze on it. So here's a little piece that has some glaze on it. Cherokee Nation is in the process of clearing away debris from the land to get a better idea of what is beneath. There is a lot more work to be done in the coming months and many more things to be discovered about the chief and his home.